Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today I'm reviewing another Soundcore product. Uh, their product line never ceases to amaze me, so whenever I had the opportunity to review this new unit, I leapt, leaped, done squats, jumping jacks, and all that at the chance to be able to do it. It is the Soundcore 360 Flare um, by Anchor. Uh, what you get out of this is 360 degrees of sound, which is just really kind of, I think, a bass port that, that's inside this that may let out bass all around and kind of left and right directions of sound, but it does feel submersive. It is hard to tell which area it's coming from, but we'll get into that a little bit later. And you get a beat-driven light show, so that's that part of it there of the box and uh, you get up to 12 hours playback time I would say push 11 uh, if you're lucky uh, customized music and lights uh, there's an app that goes along with this and I will say right off the bat that anchor does a fantastic job of providing a quality product at the lowest possible price while also providing if necessary an application an app that goes along with the product that actually works. I'm running into here lately this entire year has been poo on the app side. Like we get good uh, things. I've got a Moza. Like you're providing one of the, probably could be the best gimbal at the lowest price. Your app sucks. And the same thing goes for the Zhiyun Smooth 4, whatever that, that is, gimbal. It's solid, beautiful product. The app sucks. It's not working across all devices. And Anchor, time and time again, if it says app, along with anything Anchor related, whoever is on the app team and working is doing a great job. So not only do you get the product at the lowest possible price that is solid, that competes with anything twice its price, you're also getting an app that will actually work and do what it's supposed to along with it. So that combination is nice in this day and age where we can't get both. Uh, you can customize the music and lights, which you can do that within the app. You can got you got a bass up option, which you will leave that on probably all the time unless you're trying to be discreet and quiet in your room for whatever reason. You get fully waterproofed IPX7, and you can pair two devices for stereo left and right. And here is the device itself. You also get a charging cable in, in the box. And the box is um, show ready. I mean, some of these boxes that you get on these cheaper speakers like this or just to transport it from A to B, but this is, I think, a display ready for the store, so good job on the packaging side. You'll get it uh, in exactly the way you should receive it. Um, but yeah, it's 360 degree uh, around this guy here, and the light shows around the base. We'll get into that when I turn it on. Get the logo there. Um, basically, the sound comes out of the sides here from what I can gather when you turn it you can barely hear uh, a difference but when you set it off away from you uh, it just blends into this immersive 360 sound so they do a good job of that across the top we get volume up and down play button which you can double tap and skip a track you get the light show button on there that you hold down to turn on hold down to turn off press a few times to cycle through that and you get a bass uh, button there to boost the bass and like on the bottom, it's a good rubber bottom. Like this is quality craftsmanship. <sighs> so nice to finally get products. And this has got heft to it because of that battery and stuff in it. It's so nice to finally get qual quality products at, at a good affordable price. It's got this fabric feel to it. And to know this is waterproofed as well and that you can just place this somewhere in the, the middle of your party crowd, outside, outdoors, it can rain. You can splash it, you can do whatever you want. I, w I wouldn't throw it in the water, but I'm just that way with everything. But you do get the 3.5 out jack and the micro USB charging port. Um, one of the things I would like to see moving forward, and also a Bluetooth connect button that you would hold down to activate your Bluetooth to, to pair for the first time, and your power that you hold on onto that gives you these notifications as it shuts off and on. Uh, one of the things in the future I, I really want all for 2019, it's crazy that we're almost there, uh, I would love to see USB Type-C ports on all new devices for 2019. That just makes it easier for me. I phased out just about all the, uh, 
the micro uh, USBs. So it'd be nice to just get into a world of Type-C ports because then I can just carry one and done. Uh, so far, your first impressions is a solid build. There's nothing that rattles around that feels sturdy. I think you could drop it and be just fine. Hold down and you get that air bubble and then your Bluetooth, you'll hold that down to pair. Pairs right with my device, like, like their pairing abilities. You don't have to worry with once you pair it once, you're done. That That's a lovely thing about Anchor. I'm just so impressed with the tech part behind their items. Like you, you don't, like once you pair, it connects, it does everything that you want it to do. The fluidity of it all is there like it should be and that is so lacking on all those other iffy speakers that cost the same price. I've gotten a lot of speakers over the years that just sound good, but there's something wonky along with it. Like they didn't finish the product somewhere along the way. But anyway, I'm getting on a, a rant. I, I could get on a rant pretty quick whenever you finally get a, a good deal that, that exists in the world. And this is what this is right off the top. Here is the bass boost. Now you do get the light up stuff there, which is, which is nice. And it's really the bass boost. And here is the light show. Press that and voila. But there's a little blue ring. Goes through all the lights. Uh, the color smoothness of it's pretty good. You know, I think it's the, I forgot which one it is at Target. You know, they've got the Bluetooth speaker and the whole thing is LEDs around it. Now it's not up to that kind of quality, but it's also not that price, but it gives a decent little light show. It lets you know it's there and it looks good while doing it. It's not too over the top. I think that one at Target will be dated. Like after you buy it, you're like, uh, yeah, yeah, did, you don't turn the LEDs on, please. Like, ah, that's kind of corny. And I can't believe I paid that for it. This little, little nice, I'm here. I'm here for you. See the power light there? Whenever I max the volume out, it blinks. And whenever I start turning the volume down, nothing's happening until like bottom out, then it'll blink. So I'll max the volume out again and it blinks. So if you're unaware of where you are with volume before you hit play, you can just look at the power button and you notice the blinking when you're maxed out on the down volume or up volume. So that's Good to know right off the bat before you hit play and go, day -ay! Whenever you download the Soundcore app, you're greeted there at the home screen. And the cool thing is it shows you a product to come. So I think all their Bluetooth speakers will be compatible with the Soundcore application from what I can gather. And that's an awesome thing to create this ecosystem of speakers. And plus you can put some, embed some advertising in on this thing, which is pretty cool that you can just flick over and see what's coming soon or what is also compatible with this app and you may be like mm, you know i kind of want to upgrade this speaker i'll give this one a shot so once i select flare it's going to go right into this and picks it up right away shows me my volume it shows me that i have the the, the light turned on which i can use right there i can go into the light i'm not going to flick you off on purpose I can go right into the light settings and I've got all these different modes and then I've got things within them like music, bedtime, or whatever else exists through the pre-colored out things that you can pick from and turn it off from there. So I'm going to turn it off and it grays out the whole screen. And it's a simple application that just does exactly what you want it to do and nothing more. You can also go into uh, music, the EQ there, and change from default to other things there cycle through those EQs like like that. Some some of the little the little things. It's crazy how we go over the top with some things and we try to pack as many things into it as possible. It doesn't work correctly and everybody in the world gets frustrated. You finally start simplifying things and overly simplifying things to where it just has a few options, a few necessities within there. It works great. The world works great and everybody loves it. Simplifying things isn't all bad. And believe it or not, it will not allow you to distort the audio. Like whenever you crank it up to, you can crank this thing up to 100% on both devices, on the speaker and the phone, and you get no distortion. You get loud enough to fill a, back, a normal size uh, backyard. We had a little get together, we played this, and it, the positioning it was at, you didn't really want to go 100% volume with it, and it filled the entire back lawn up 
and uh, the patio area that we were in and it surprised me a little bit getting it out into the wild I thought that okay this speaker sounds phenomenal indoors whenever I place it into a corner about uh, a foot about 10 inches to a foot away from two walls that meet um, the way it just envelops the whole room and, and brings it around and sounds natural when you would close your eyes doing this technique it sounds like you're listening to a device about this big and it's really just this guy so whenever you use it indoors don't be afraid to put this somewhere and use the surrounding areas to wrap that sound and, and benefit from this 360 use the 360 to manipulate some people's ears because it's not directional like a, like a fan i always think of speakers being like a fan you know and it's directional you feel the direct breeze but as you move left or right off center it kind of dissipates the sound does well this 360 you can kind of if you wanted you could point the speaker at you on one side and use the other side to, to reflect around objects and back over and around so you can't escape the sound and it's a solid sound in the room no matter where you go or you can turn it a little bit and have the speakers go left and right and then just run along the ceilings and the walls and come down and pour down around you and, and just utilize the space around you. Be smart with it because it's 360 doesn't mean you need to slap it right in the middle of the room and that's the best sound you got. Use uh, the natural things in your existence there to, to benefit from this little guy and when people hear it they're like there's something big going on. It's just this little guy with an all day playtime. Now we're gonna play a little ditty that uh, I own the rights to that I can use at the outros of, of my song. So it's kind of familiar um, and I know exactly what it's supposed to sound like. So we're gonna do this at about, looks like about 60% volume. This maxed out 60% on the phone. Bass boost on, let's turn bass boost off. Bass boost back on. It's a noticeable difference. All right, now we're gonna crank it up all the way. That's loud. Drop down to 50%. Woo! Give my low is a break, but man, that just sounds. You could really get an indoor room cranking at 100%. And it sounds good. That sounds really good. Okay, that's 50%. And we're going to turn that jam off. That's, that's a good track. It's a good track with a speaker. I was actually. A little surprised at how good and bassy that sounded. I haven't heard it 100% a foot away from my face like that before, and it sounded good. But overall, the Soundcore Flare by Anchor 360 Flare is a beautiful speaker, and it doesn't have to ever go on sale. $59 right now on the market. There's nothing that can come in and tippy-toe and touch it ever in existence. Right now, as we sit, there's not, because... You get the little light show at the bottom if you want it. You get the battery life. You get the water 
the IPX7 rating uh, on top of being a 12 hour rated speaker. So they say 11 hours, always drop an hour. 11 hours because I listen to full max volume and the bass boost. Everything that exists in this that needs to exist and it should be 100 bucks or something like that, but it's $59. So I am overwhelmed at the product. So make sure to buy it. The link's down in the description. You will not be disappointed. Your football parties, your little bit of summer leftover parties will benefit from that. Even in your you know enclosed room, go stick it in a corner. Beautiful. It, it'll wrap you. It'll wrap you up. Snuggle you real soft up in some music. Put the blanket right here on you and cut the air down to 68 degrees. That's what it's going to do for you. So make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that dong so that you get notified on the next Bluetooth speaker uh, that I get to review. And it looks like I might get another Soundcore item, I hope. I hope that's the case because I've been overly impressed with every one of their products and I haven't had a bad one yet. And I'm kind of like, uh, there's got to be a bad one that exists or something. So, see ya.